A new name and a new collection at the former Appleton Arts Center brought in the crowds tonight. Yeah, it was the first chance for the public to get a glimpse at the Trout Museum of Art, the downtown museum, now named for a Tennessee couple who donated their personal art collection and some cash. They talked about their gift with Fox 11's Lindsay Vermes. Beautiful. Look at Look around you. Uh, every piece that we bought, we liked. We didn't buy it for any other reason. But Dr. Monroe and Sandra Trout have parted with the works they love to give an Appleton Art Center a new birth, a renaissance worthy of the masters displayed here. It looks a lot better here than it did in our house. Uh, and it's going to be seen by a lot more people. The Knoxville couple married in Appleton 50 years ago. Now their name and art collection will stay here. The Trouts have donated 180 pieces and a $1 million endowment to maintain them. The works include some big names. Such as Salvador Dali, Marc Chagall, uh, the great uh, Italian old master Andrea Locatelli. Museum uh, director Tim Riley says the Trout's gift and others from the community have really transformed the center. We invested uh, a great deal of time, energy and money into climate controls, uh, security systems to really bring this museum uh, into uh, nationally accepted standards. He's expecting the $1.2 million renovation to bring in larger crowds and notable collections. It's terrific and amazing, and we're very lucky that um, Dr. Trout and his wife chose Appleton. The Trout say it was bittersweet seeing their artwork move on. They came and totally denuded my walls. But in just two weeks, those walls were covered again. Turns out Dr. Trout is a painter, too. Now I have just my own gallery, but not as good as this. The Trouts <laughs> hope their gift will inspire others and make the museum the place to stop. In Appleton, Lindsay Vermes, Fox 11 News. The museum is open Tuesdays through Saturdays, 10 to 4, Sundays, noon to 4.